is a sports presentation of the WB 11. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with two more games in my Washington uh, Senators season, 1955 Washington Senators season. Today I got two games against the Yankees. Now, we're playing three games against the Yankees, but the first two are in New York, and then the third one is in Washington. So, I will televise these two, and then I will probably play the third Yankee game offline. And then um, we will go to the next series, which will be Boston. And I will probably give an update on what happened in the third Yankee game uh, when we um, start the Boston series. So, with that having been said... Um, We'll want to get into this one now. We're playing the 55 Yankees. Whitey Ford is on the mound for them. They are the Yankees. They did actually win the American League in 1955, and we have Mickey McDermott going up for us. Um, I don't expect that to be um, in our favor. Let's just put it that way. So we got Eddie Yost leading off against uh, Whitey Ford. Got a little bit uh, different look to my board here. here. Let me know if you like it. I might, I might, I'm going to still probably play with it. So you may see different looks for my uh, game setup um, as the season goes on. Until I finally settle on something I like. Ronald will be the second out of the top of the first. And then uh, Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon strikes out. So we got Mickey McDermott out on the mound against Gil McDougal, and Mick Gil McDougal wastes no time and rips a single. All right, uh, he's a 50% stealer. We'll just let him do whatever he's going to do, and they, they bunt. And yeah, I guess it... Um, I don't... Hank Bauer is still up. And he singles. So, so there's two runners on, no outs. Now, if you remember in game one, um, Johnny Schmitz was in a similar situation for us. Um, and he did allow a run, and now he walks Mickey Mantle. Nice. Which brings up Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra, though, is going to line out. Now. So there's one out. Now, if we can just get a double play, I'm going to keep the infield back, hoping for the double play. Uh, Bill Scourin is up, and he, that was a wild pitch that allowed the run to score. And now there's a ground ball to the third. That's Yost. He's a good fielder, but he makes an error, which allows the second run to score. And now we've got a ground ball to Valdiviso. It's shortstop. That could be a double play. It isn't, though. So, so a third run scores, and the Yankees have a 3 nothing lead, and now they're going to pop out with Andy Carey up. And he pops out to Valdivizo, but McDermott allows three runs. In the first inning, we're down 3 nothing. Whitey Ford is up, and he grounds out to Whitey Ford. That brings up Carlos Paula who is going to fly out to um, Howard in left field. And that brings up Tom Umflit. And Tom Umflit is going to get it the first base hit for us, but of course it's with two down. And that brings up Fitzgerald, the catch. And he gets a single. It was single one to two, and he got the single. 
and that brings up Valdivizo. And Valdivizo hits the ground ball at Hunter at shortstop. He's a two, and he makes the play. So we don't get any runs. And Billy Hunter comes up to face McDermott, who will force a pop out to the shortstop. Whitey Ford is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. And that brings up Gil McDougal, the top of their order. He hits a five ball to center field, but Umflit may not be able to play that. We'll have to see. But he makes a running catch, so he does. So Mickey McDermott is up. And he gets a walk. So we lead off with a walk to the pitcher and Andy Yost up at the plate. He hits the ground ball to third, but that's Carey. He's a good fielding third baseman. And that's a double play for them, and then, uh, that brings up Runnels. And Runnels walks. And that brings up Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon's going to hit ground ball to all second base for the third out of the inning, and we are still down 3 nothing in the bottom of the third. McDermott pitching to Hank Bauer, who walks. Lead off walk for the Yankees, Mickey Mantle up, and he strikes out on his card, no less. That brings up uh, Yogi Bear. Yogi hits his run, a line out to second base. Runnels makes the play, and that brings up Bill Scourin, and he strikes out. So, Mickey McDermott, after a rough first inning, he's had a pretty good second and third, but we're down 3 nothing. We got to come back from that. Roy Stevenson works a walk, or he will work a walk after this foul ball is resolved. So he's aboard. Carlos Paul is up, and he hits a ground ball to first. That's Scourin. He's a three. And it rolls up his arm, so there's an air for Scourin. We've got two on and a flip up with no outs. But he hits a ground ball, third base B. So runners are at the corners with Fitzgerald, the catcher, at the plate. And he rips a single. It's 3-1. And I'm just going to hold the runners. That brings up Alba Levizo, And he hits a fly to center. That's Mickey Mantle. He was a two in 1955. And he makes the play, though, as expected. McDermott up. He walked last time, and he grounds out this time. But we do get one of those three runs back, so it's 3-1. to one. Pretty close game. Uh, ground ball to second. Runnels, he's a three. Looks like he'll make the play, and he does. And he carries up. He hits the ground ball short. That's Valdivisa. We got a pretty good infield. And he gets him. And then that brings up Zelly Hunter. And he hits a ground ball to second base. And the Yankees are out of the inning. McDermott has settled down uh, appreciably since the first inning. Eddie Yost hits a ground ball, and he'll be out. Ground ball to Billy Hunter. Pete Runnels up. Runnels is going to hit a fly ball. So there's two down, and Mickey Vernon is up late, and he's going to hit a ground ball to first. So we get nothing in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And White Ford hits a ground ball to the pitcher, or no, to first base, and he's out. McDougal. McDougal with a fly ball right. And McDermott is like he's lights out now. He gives up three runs in the first inning, which is pretty devastating for our team. But then he's lights out after that. But he does walk Bauer here. And then that brings up Mickey Mantle. And he strikes out.
So we are headed to the top of the stick. And there's a line out for Roy Evers. The in real life, the um, the Senators won one of these games, but it was the third game of the series. They actually lost this game 19 to one. There's going to be a single finger outlet with two down though, so I'm not going to get too excited about that. But Fitzgerald's there, up, he's two for two, and he does not hit the home run. He gets the fly ball. That would have been nice if it had been the home run. But they make the play, and we go to the bottom of the sixth, down by two, and there's the ball by Barrett to Valdivizo, Valdivizo. Scouring is up, and he is going to strike out plus injury. Let's see how long he's out. Uh, just, uh, just a minor cut bruise or something there. So he, and then the fly ball for Elston and Howard. So the Yankees come away with nothing, and we go to the top of the seventh. It's getting late for us. Strikeout by Valdivizo. McDermott. He lines out. And Eddie Yost. And Eddie Yost is going to hit a single. So he's one for four on the day, and Ronald's up. And he's going to pop out to second, and there goes any kind of hope for a threat by us in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Still with a chance to win this game. There's a ground ball to the third by Carey. And there is a single by, by Billy Hunter. Is that a single? No, that was a home run. Or it was a triple and an error. Or what was that? That's an inside the park home run. How do you get from triple something and single to an inside the park home run? And he walks Whitey Ford. McDougal's up. Fly ball to center. He's two. He should make this play, and that should be the second out of the inning. And that up Hank Bauer. And he walks. Yeah, McDermott's tired, but I'm going to try to get him through this inning. And I don't know if I can. He walks Mantle. Although walking Mantle is... Probably not that bad of a thing. Ground ball to the shortstop, Valdivielzo, and he makes the play, and we're out of the inning. And Mickey Vernon's up, but now we're down 4 for 1. We're back down by three runs, which is not good. Ground ball to McDougal, and he's out. Seavers is up. He strikes out. And that brings up Carlos Bosola. And he will hit a ground ball to second. And that's an out. And I will go to the um, bullpen. And we are going to... We're going to bring in Ted Abernathy. I know he's not good, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. That's going to be a line out, though. He meets Scourin with a, and makes him line out. Elston Howard is going to strike out. So Abernathy not pitching too bad here. And Andy and Carey. Or, yeah, Andy Carey. And Andy Carey's out, so... Abernathy and his bad stats come in and get the Yankees one, two, three. But we have to have three runs right here. And uh, Umflit starts to start out with a pop out.
Fitzgerald is up. He's two for three. That's going to be a ground out. And Valdez is up. And he's going to ground out. And that will be it for game one of this Yankee series for us. Get the box score. McDermott did not really pitch that poorly. He pitched seven innings, allowed three hits, two earned runs, and uh, but he walked six. The walking the six wasn't very good. And we end up losing 4-1. And so now we will go to the next game. And I believe that that is... Oh, wait a minute. That is... Well, this game doesn't even involve us. So we'll play down that one. And then... This one doesn't involve us either. Okay. Oh, my mistake. We're actually home in this one. And we've got Schmitz on the mound. So maybe, you know what, maybe I will play all three games then, because what is probably the case then is that we're at home for the next game too. And we have Schmitz on the Monday again because of all those days it just went by that um, we didn't need Schmitz, um, you know, that he had to rest. So they'll be the computer team, we'll be the human team, and we will play ball. Of course, as you know, we're in Nationals Park because I don't have the 1955 parks. So Gimmick Dougal is up. It's a night game. Schmitz, as you will uh, remember, made uh, Schmitz won game one for us. And he was terrible in the first inning last time, but now he looks like he's a lot better. He got two uh, flyouts, and then a walk to Mickey Mantle, or two outs, and then a walk to Mickey Mantle, and now Bear is up. Mantle thought about stealing, but he can't, and he, he Bear hits a ground ball, Vernon, and we're out of the inning. And we're going up against Johnny Coops with, uh, whoa, whoa, we got a nice double there, lead off double by Eddie Yost. And that brings up Oravets. Oravets with a walk. Nice. We got two on, no outs. We're mounting a rally here immediately against uh, Kooks. With Runnels up, and he strikes out. That brings up Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon is not going to get that hit, hit. He's got a line out instead. And, and Roy Sievers. Roy Sievers with the strikeout. So we mounted a, uh, a little bit of a threat there, but didn't get any runs. And now Scourin is up against um, against uh, Schmitz, and that's an out. Yost makes the play. Elston Howard's up. He hits a fly ball to center field for the second out. And that brings up Andy Carey. And Andy Carey is going to hit a single. So Andy carries aboard with two down and Hunter up and he is going to hit around the ball to third. Carlos Paula is up for us next inning and he rips a single to, to uh, Greg Kooks. Valdiviso is up. Valdiviso pops out. One away, and that brings up Bruce Edwards for us, who is going to pop out to shortstop. I'm thinking he's probably the catcher this game. And then Johnny Schmitz, and Schmidt strikes out. So we go down in the second, 
And so we're going to the top of the third with the Yankees backing against Schmitz. Up out to first base for Johnny Cooks, the pitcher. So that'll take us back to the top of the Yankees lineup. And Bill McDougal, who walks. That brings up Bauer, Hank Bauer, and Hank Bauer walks. So they've got two on with only one out. Or wait. I guess he was hitting and running. So that's actually two out and uh, Mickey Mantle up. And Mickey Mantle strikes out. Mantle has been kind of quiet in the games that we've played against the Yankees so far, which is, this is only the second one. So but not like that's a big thing. Eddie Pios, who's one for one with a double, is out on this bat. And that brings up Oravets. Oravets hits a fly ball to the right. right. The right fielder is very good. Hank Bauer, he's a one. And he's got it. And that brings up Runnels. And Runnels walks. Which brings up Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon's going to hit a ground ball to the pitcher, who's a four. And it gets away for an E1 single, what is it? Scored a single plus an E1. And that brings up Roy Seavers, who they're going to walk in favor of pitching to Paula, who strikes out. So with a chance to um, knock some runs in, Paula does not come through in the clutch. And we've got Barra up leading off the fourth inning, grounding to Valdivizo, who makes the play. And Scott Oren is up with one down, and he hits a home run. Home run for Bill Scourin. So the Yankees are ahead 1-0 with Elston Howard up. He grounds up to second. And that brings up Andy Carey. And Andy Carey's going to rip a single. And that brings up Billy Hunter. And Billy Hunter is going to fly out. So Schmitz gets out of the inning, only giving up the solo shot, but he's still losing one nothing. Valdivizo is up, and he's going to ground out. That brings up Bruce Edwards, the catcher. He walks. That's a nice card. The walks on. Schmitz is up. up. I'm letting him hit, and he's going to hit a double. Oh, Schmitz going shopping at the gap. Uh, Edwards ain't much of a runner, though, and he, they're not even going to give me the option because of that. But, oh, come on. So that's going to be a line out for um, Eddie Yost instead of the single. And Oravets is up. And Oravets is going to pop out. So we came close. We came close to tying the game, but we couldn't do it. Johnny Cook's up at the plate. He's out. He'll ground out to do Runnels. McDougal's up. He's going to strike out. Pretty good. I mean, we played the Yankees pretty tough so far. And we have a fly ball to right. right to Paula, but he's a four, so let's see if he makes the play. And it looks like he doesn't. No, he does not, and that's going to be a single with Mantle. And Mantle strikes out. So, uh, we're headed to the bottom of the fifth with Runnels leading off against Coops and getting a single. We got to, you see, this is not the type of team that can put string hits together again. That's the problem. Mickey Vernon strikes out. He's one for three now. Stevers is 0 for 1 with a walk. He hits a ground ball to third. It's Andy Carey, and he's a one. And that's a double play. So we're going to the top of the sixth. Schmidt's still pitching well. Well enough to win. We just can't get a run off Kooks. Scarin goes up. He's going to ground out. So it'll be the second out of the inning. And Elston Howard's out. 
and Ellison Howard's going to strike out. Schmidt's pitching great. I mean, I'd hate to see him lose this game. Carlos Paula, though, rips a straight-up double. That's nice. But we've got to try to string something together and get him home. Might stretch to a triple. Yeah, let's try it. No. No! Oh, my God. I shouldn't have tried it. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, he, he had good speed. So I thought maybe he'd make it. But anyway... Um, and there's a ground ball for Edwards. So, I mean, the next two guys were going to get out anyway, so who knows? Andy carries a piece two for two on the day, and he's going to ground out. So he's now two for three. Schmidt's pitching great. This is just this has been a real out of body experience for Sir Schmidt's. Although he pitched pretty good in game one, he had a rough first inning. Kooks, and they're going to pinch hit Bob Serve, and he's going to ground out. Funny story about Bob Serve is um, they, the Yankees had traded him to the, I don't know if anybody's ever heard this, but it's a funny story. They had, the Yankees had traded Bob Serve to the, um, they're going to bring in Jim Castantney to pitch against us. Anyway, back to my story. They had, um, um, traded, the Yankees had traded Bob Serve to Kansas City. And he had suited up for the game in the Yankees, you know, um, locker room. Got his Yankee uniform on, went out to the bench. Was sitting on the bench and Casey Stengel was sitting next to him and said to him, nobody knows this yet, but one of us has just been traded to Kansas City. <laughs> that is one of my all-time favorite stories. All right, we're going to have Schmitz uh, back to lead off here because I don't really have an option. I mean, my pitching is terrible, and Schmitz is pitching great. So if we're going to have a chance, we have to try to score a run with that home run. run. Hey, Yost! Thank you. I am so glad I did not pinch hit for Schmitz. So now it is a tie game, and you can see the fireworks are going off. And Orovets is up. And Orovets is hit by pitch and injured. And he can stay in the game. So that's good. And then Russell is up with one out. A man on. There's a fly ball. Mantle in center. Let's see if Mantle can get to that. He might not be able to. And he can't. So um, we have runners at second and third. One out. Mickey Vernon up. I mean, what else would you want? Ground ball to short. That's Hunter. And did we score on that? No, we did not. So it looks like he got the uh, lead runner cut the run off at the plate. And Seaver's up. And Seaver strikes out. So we're out of the inning. But we are in a tie game now. With McDougal facing Schmitz and then Schmitz. Schmitz. Proceeds to lead off, allowing a single to the leadoff hitter for the Yankees the very next inning. And they sacrificed him over. Mickey Mantle's up. Ground ball to second. That might move him to third. Probably does move him to third. And that brings up Yogi Berra, who's going to ground out, and we're still in a tie game. Man, it would be big. It would be real big if we could beat the Yankees. Bottom of the eighth, Carlos Paula up, and he lines out. Valdiviso up, and he's going to pop out. And that brings up Bob Edwards, who's 0 for 2, and he is going to ground out a plus plus injury. Two days. He's out for two days. So I have to put in another catcher. I believe that's Ed Fitzgerald for the moment. He's, for the moment, our only option. 
Schmidt's still up there because I don't have any options, really. And they get a triple. Off triple. My God. Ah, oh, man, that hurts. That really hurts. Lead off triple by Scourin. Um, we got to bring the infield in. Uh, position the defense. Um, infield in. And that's going to be a fly ball. And the runners hold. Um, Andy Carey, two for three. We're going to bring the infield in again. Position the defense, bring the infield in. He bunts it. And out. There's an out, but they scored. They scored on the bunt. Billy Hunter up, and he's going to be out. So they're ahead two to one. The Yankees are. And we're going to the bottom of the ninth. We have to score here. So Schmidt is not going to bat. Um, Constanti, or whatever, however you pronounce that name, he's a righty who's a 2L, which is kind of weird um, for trying to decide who you should put up against him. McDermott is a lefty who's a 2R. I think that's the matchup I want. Right? Because he's a righty facing, or he's a lefty facing a righty. And that righty is a 2L. But he's a 2R. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, you know. I don't want to do any um, weird math in my head, but anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's one away, and Eddie Yost is up the home run man, and he walks. So we're still alive. One out. Oravets up. up. Oravets rips a single. Ah. Uh, 13, negative one. I'm going to hold the runners. Runnels is up. Runnels is going to line out on a, one to, single one to 15, and he lines out. This is going to be a heartbreaking loss, i got to tell you. Mickey Vernon. Mickey Vernon sends us home with a win. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Mickey Vernon, Jack, and Castagny deep. And we win the game. We beat the Yankees. Four to two. Nice. That was really great. That was sweet. So, uh, yeah, you got uh, Schmitz goes nine, gives up six hits, two earned runs. He's 2-0 and on the year. Schmitz, man, that dude has been big for us. And, um, yeah, I mean, look at some of these guys, man. Two for four for Yost, two for four for Ronalds, two for four, or two for five. With the game-winning walk-off homer for Vernon, two for four for Paula. Those guys are huge, man. All right, so now I think the next game is... Um, yes, in Washington as well, and we will have Chuck Stobbs going up in that one. And as I mentioned earlier, we, in real life, Washington won one of these three games against the Yankees. It was actually this game right here, the third game, but we still won one of them. So it doesn't really matter, comes out in the wash. Chuck Stobbs against Larson. Let's go and play ball. Gil McDougal leading off against Chuck Stobbs. And that's going to be maybe a home. It might still be a home run. It might be one of those where he can't catch it at the wall things. He can't get it, so it's a home run for McDougal. There ahead, one nothing. 
There's a single for uh, Hank Bauer. Mickey Mantle's club. Triple one to eight. I'm, you know, I'm just so happy we won that last game. Stobbs could get his butt beat in right here. I don't really care. Uh, so that scores another run, and we are up 2 nothing. That could run down ball, ball B. And, the, yeah, the run scored, good. so Scour ends up with one out, and that's going to be a fly ball. ball. It could have been another home run, but it isn't. Of course, it's not really anything to brag about to say that I've got the team at the same record that they actually had in real life. When in real life, they lost over 100 games. Well, they got a guy that has to sit out. Alfred Howard has to sit out at least the rest of this game. Plus three, but I don't really care about the other three because we're not going to see him again, see the Yankees again before Elston Howard can come back. So, Yost is leading off in the bottom of the first with us down by three runs. Oravets is up and he grounds out. And that brings up Pete Runnels. Pete Runnels is going to hit a double. Shopping at the gap for Pete Runnels. Be nice to get a run here at least with these Mickey Vernon up. But he does not get a hit and so he's out. Andy carries up top of the second. He hits a ground ball to, to Runnels at second. He's out. Bill Hunter is going to is going to fly out to center. Don Larson, the pitcher, strikes out. So we're down 3 nothing. Roy Seavers here in the second. Roy Seavers getting a lead off a single low against Don Larson. That's nice. Carlos Paul. Carlos Paul is going to hit ground ball double play to Hunter at short. And that brings up Val and he's going to hit a ground ball to the short starts of X. That he's a two. And that's an error. So, so court check the backup back catcher. I guess that we brought up a, another catcher to replace our injured backup catcher. Uh, McDougal batting against uh, Stobbs. He allows the fly ball center field. X. But he makes the play. That's good. Bowers up, and there's a hit by pitch. So Stobbs hits Bauer, puts him on first base, one away, and Mantle up at the plate. And Mantle is going to hit a two-run home run off of Stobbs. Don't really want to burn through the bullpen, and uh, we are right on pace to do what the Senators actually did. Walk to Yogi Berra, so I'm just I'm gonna let Stubbs, you know, get his ass beat in a little bit out there since you know, why not? Irv Norin. Irv Norin is gonna hit a double. No, is that? No, it's a single. But it knocks in a run. Runners are at the corners, only one out. The Yankees up six nothing and Andy Carey up the plate. And he's gonna hit into a double to play. So that'll get us out of the inning. But that is, uh, we were leading off the third down by six, and Chuck Stobbs, like I said, Stobbs is going to stay out there for a while. So he strikes out. Eddie Yost walks. Oravets is up. Oravets walks. Pete Ronalds is up, and he strikes out. So there's there's two down now, and Mickey Vernon up, 
and Mickey Vernon pops out. So Billy Hunter is leading off against Stobbs. He gets a ground ball to the pitcher. They make He makes the play. There's one down. Larson up. Larson strikes out. And McDougal's up. And he is going to hit a pay triple. Luckily, there's already two outs. But again, we're down 6 nothing to the Yankees. We aren't scoring six runs. Hank Bauer is up, and Hank Bauer is going to fly out. So that's, yeah, that, that's a little too high for him to have a chance at the outfielder not playing the ball. So we do get out of that inning. No runs allowed. Still down 6 nothing. Sears up at the plate. He walks. He's one for one now with a walk. Carlos Paula up, and he is going to fly out. One away. That brings up Valdez. He strikes out. Two away. And that brings up Portchek. The backup catcher, and he's out. So, we're going to the top of the fifth. Mantle's two for two with a home run. He hits a fly ball to Paula. Another thing that's going to be interesting is to see the stats that these teams put up. Not only their records, to compare all the teams' records to what they actually did in 1955. Because like I said, there's very little change. The only thing that really changes is the ballparks that they're playing in. Because the dimensions, like even Yankee Stadium, I don't have old Yankee Stadium that the 55 Yankees played in. I only have, I think, just like current Yankee Stadium. Or I might have. Actually, yeah, I may have the Yankee Stadium that they actually played in. And I have Tiger Stadium. So for some of the teams, they're actually in the stadium that they probably played in in 1955. But for some of the teams, they're in more modern ballparks, like Washington is playing in Nationals Park, and the White Sox are playing in um, Guaranteed Rate Field instead of whatever park it, or old Comiskey that they played in in 55, because I don't have Comiskey. So anyway, Chuck Stobbs batting here to lead off against Scott and he gets a single. Are you kidding me? Nice. Chuck Stobbs with a single. Of course, we're down by six. So, hit by pitch plus injury. We really don't want this to be a big injury. Ten days. Dang. All right. I knew I should have taken Yost out. Uh, shit. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put in D-list because I don't want to... Well, wait a minute. Yeah, we'll put in uh, Killebrew. Actually, we're going to put in Killebrew because he can play third. And he'll be in for... He's the pinch runner. And then Orvets is up. Ground ball to shortstop. He's up to two. Let's see if we can get it by him. No! I mean, yes, we did. Something happened there. Yeah, Oravets has himself an infield hit. So nice infield hit. Runnels up. No outs. A home run here, or if we can get these four runners, these three runners in. So a run scores. We're down 6 1. Vernon's up. And he hits a ground ball to center. That's the second out. And Seavers, and Seavers, there's a catcher ball. Pass ball, so Seavers up at the plate. He walks to load the bases with Carlos Paul at the plate. 
and he strikes out again. Key situation, and he strikes out. So we're down 6-1. Um, we're going to put Killebrew at third. So now I'm going to have to watch out for who, who we play at third for the next 10 days because I didn't really care with the backup catcher. I mean, neither of our catchers is all that great. I mean, none of our catchers are all that great. So I really didn't care what they do about the backup catcher or the injured catcher, but I would care what they do about our third base. So Erdin Oren is going to be out. Andy Carey is up, and he is out. Stobbs, I mean, really, Stobbs has only had two horrendous innings. And other than that, has not pitched that poorly. And then there's a pop up to the shortstop. So he's out of the inning. Valdiviso is over. And he's going to have a single. And that's, that's apropos that Stobbs is coming up because now I will replace Stobbs with a pinch hitter. Or no, Korchek is up. All right, we'll let Korchek hit. Korchek is going to hit a two run homer. No, he's not because he doesn't have the power to do that. Of course. So now Stobbs is up. We're going to replace Stobbs. Um, with, we got a righty who's a 1R, so we want a left-handed hitter. Um, McDermott. Always McDermott. That's a guy I always go to. And he gets a fly ball right field B. That'll score the run. So it's 6 2 and Killebrew up. Killebrew, who you can see is horrible, except that he had a little bit of power. This was likely at the very end of his career. And Orvets is up, and he pops out. And we're going to need another pitcher. I got just the guy in mind, Ted Abernathy. He pitched well, as you'll remember, in game one of this series, but um, he does have terrible stats. He had a 596 earned run average in real life that year. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh, wait, let's, uh, so he is going to go in and pitch to Bob Serve. They pinch hit Bob Serve because they see Abernathy out there and Serve strikes out. Uh, Gil McDougal is going to hit a fly ball to center. That's Oravets. He may not make the play. He can't get it, so it is a single. Hank Bauer up. Of course, if this were a close game, I would be playing a good center field. I would put a defensive center fielder out there, but it isn't. So there's a triple because we had a four in center. Fly ball right. Paula's a four as well. A lot of bad outfielders going around here. He makes the catch, though, but the run scores, so that's the second run in, and there's a strikeout. So the Yankees lead 8-2, as we go to the, uh, the bottom of the seventh. Runnels pulls up. Runnels hits a ground ball to second. That's an out. Mickey Vernon up. Mickey Vernon is out. And now Sturdivant, Tom Sturdivant is in the pitch against Seavers and, and the other two guys, too. And that's an out. We're out of the inning, top of the eighth. Line out Max for um, Bill Scourin against Abernathy. Brings up Herb Norton, who hits a fly ball to Paula for the out. 
and Andy Cherry is up. And he's going to hit a ground ball towards the top. That's Valdivizo. And he's out. So Carlos Paul is up. Bottom of the eighth. Going to hit a ground ball short. Kind of nice that I got the whole Yankee series in. I'm kind of glad that I was able to do that. I mean, they are the Yankees. People want to see the Yankees. Whether they watch them to lose or whether they watch them to see them win. Valdivizo is out, bottom of the eighth, and Cork is up. And he's going to be out. Bill Hunter is up against Abernathy. And we're down 8 2, down by 6. Probably going to let Abernathy hit when we come to the, um, when it comes our turn to bat, because why not? Uh, Sturdivant rounds out. And McDougal is three for four on the day, and he's four for five with a single. There, and Hank Bauer is going to hit a single himself. He's three for four. Top of the lineup, killing us. I'm going to stop uh, the runners, and then Mantle is up at the plate. I'm going to hold on to the ball because there's two down. All we have to do is get Mantle, and he strikes out. So this should be Abernathy batting. I think it is, and I, like I said, I'm going to let him hit. And he walks. They walk Abernathy. Not a good idea. Killebrew up. Killebrew strikes out. Or Betts is up, and he hits a foul out to first. And Runnels up. And Runnels hits a double. Nice. This would have been good in a nice, tight, one-run game, but, you know, right here, who cares? I'm going to hold the runners because we need runs. Vernon's up. And Vernon hits a ground ball to Andy Carey, who's a one at third base. And he is out, and so we lose that game big time. To recap that game, there's the uh, batting. We were only... 7 for 32 hitting. Um, and, uh, yeah, not not that good. Stobbs went 6. He gave up 7 hits, 6 earned runs, 1 walk, struck out 2, and gave up 2 homers. So he really wasn't very good. Abernathy also was not that great, but, you know, that's well, what do you want. This is the 55 Senators. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. We took one out of three from the Yankees. So we are now, by my uh, by my crude math, we are two and two on the year, headed to play the Boston Red Sox next. So that's going to be it for me, though. Right now, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.